Okay, I'm going to show you how to transcribe a task. Let's go down to our expeditions here and I'm going to choose a fly task. We click on our get started button and it brings up the image that we and the labels that we need to transcribe. So first of all we need to transcribe all these labels into our transcribe all text box. So in our transcribe all text box we want to transcribe exactly what was on the label into this field. Now we also have these icons down here that you might need to use for latitude or longitude or for the male and female symbols. We also have the copy values from pre previous task button. So if you've done several tasks in this expedition and there's a few labels that are exactly the same one after the other, you can use this um, copy values from previous task button. Once we've transcribed all text, we go along to our collection location section and this is where we put our locality. So we can copy and paste Now I am just going to take that out. So sometimes a drop down box will appear and you can choose from the drop down box otherwise just type in whatever's on the on the label. So fill in these fields here. Now if your latitude and longitude appear on the label, you can fill in these fields here. If they don't appear on the label, then you need to use the mapping tool. So let's just go to this mapping tool button here and open the mapping tool. Now you can see here in the locality it says crow's nest already. If uh, you have one kilometre north of crow's nest or something like that, then you can take the one kilometre out and just leave crow's nest. Let's just zoom in a little bit just to see that we've got the right place. So we have, we don't know where in crow's nest the fly was collected, so we just make sure that this circle covers all of crow's nest. You can move your marker around if you need to and you can adjust your uncertainty if you need to. Just make sure that it covers all of the area where the specimen could potentially have been collected from. Once you're happy with your mapping then you copy your values to the main form and they will now appear on your form. Now we can go to the next section which is the miscellaneous section First of all, we've got the collection date, which we put in. We can go to our collector and put our collector in. We don't have a collection method, so we can leave that blank, and we don't have elevation or depth or other numbers. So we just give it a quick check to make sure that we've completed it all, and then we can go down and submit for validation. If there's anything about the specimen that you want your, the validator to know about, you can complete the notes section and write a note to explain something to the validator. Once you've done that, you can tr transcribe another task or return to the save task, go to the project landing page or view your stats.